Deep Blue, Kasparov, 1996, Game 1, the first game in which a computer defeated a reigning world champion. It started with E4, C5. And right from the start, Deep Blue gets jiggy with C3. And the game continued with D5. E takes D5. Queen takes D5. D4. Knight F6. Knight F3. Bishop G4. Bishop E2. E6. H3. Bishop H5. Castle. Knight C6. Bishop E3. C takes D4. C takes D4. And here's where the game really gets started, triggered by Kasparov's new approach to this position, by developing the bishop in an unusual way. Bishop B4. But if white continues with Knight C3. Then Queen A5. Queen B3. Transposes into a game Kasparov previously played against Kramnik. However, the game continued with A3. Bishop A5. Knight C3. Now here, what's the best square for black's queen? Queen D6. Knight B5. Queen E7. Knight E5. Here, how should black continue? Bishop G6. Or Bishop takes E2. Bishop takes E2. Queen takes E2. Castle. Rook A C1. Rook A C8. Here, how should white improve its bishop? With Bishop F4. Or Bishop G5. With Bishop G5. And after Bishop B6. White is forced to play. What move? Bishop takes f6? Not queen takes f6? Um, bad move. Because white would gain material, with what move? Knight d7. G takes f6? Question how should white play? Knight c4. Black cannot take the d4 pawn due to queen g4. Rook fd8. Knight takes b6? A takes b6? Rook fd1. f5. Queen e3. Queen f6. d5. Notice how this pawn sacrifice can be very useful. It's a typical maneuver of Kasparov's style of play. Rook takes d5. Rook takes d5. e takes d5. b3. Burgess suggests that knight e7. Rook takes c8. Would have been better than how Kasparov played. Gein suggests rook d8. Yeah. Good move. It's black's best try, as with. Queen takes b6. Black has rook d7. Kasparov attempts to prepare a counterattack by preparing to move his rook to the g-file, with king h8. Hmm. After. Queen takes b6. With the move rook g8. What is black threatening? Forking g2 and the rook with what move? Queen g5. So white continued with queen c5 and following d4. Knight d6. f4. Knight takes b7. Knight e5. Here, how should white play? Not. Queen takes d4. Whoa, that's a blunder. Because black has what move? Knight f3. Yeah. Good move. If white continues with Knight d6, with the idea of queen takes e5, winning the knight, black gets decisive pressure on the g-file with knight f3. King h1. Queen g6. Kasparov later commented on his opponent, my late game attack would intimidate many players into making a mistake, but not this one. Queen d5. f3. g3. Knight d3. Rook c7. Rook e8. Knight d6. Rook e1. King h2. Knight takes f2. Knight takes f7. Here, if queen takes f7, white wins with what move? Queen d8. The game continued with king g7. Knight g5. King h6. Rook takes h7. King g6. Queen g8. King f5. Knight takes f3. Here what is white threatening? Knight takes e1. Rook f7. 
And what else? Queen d5. So? Kasparov resigned. Now after. g3. How should black play? Queen f4. Or knight d3. It seems as though black could annihilate white with. Queen f4. What is black threatening? Both queen takes c1. And if. King h2. What is black's strongest move? Rook takes g3. That's it. A very strong move. And winning. But instead white could play what move? Rook c8. That's it. A very strong move. However, after. Queen g5. Kasparov may have been planning to answer. h4. With what move? Rook takes c8. That's it. A very strong move. As. H takes g5. Rook c1. King h2. Knight g4. King h3. Knight takes f2. With white mating on the next move. However, here instead of playing h4. Deep blue could have spoil everything. With what move? Rook c5. The end.